Hey y'all, check this out. Extreme fear in the market right now. Blood on the streets, everything's dropping. Even after we had that little push up, people thought, oh, Bitcoin, are we out of, are we out of the woods yet? But looking here, extreme fear in the market. We're looking at cryptocurrency here. Bitcoin sitting at $30,100, Ethereum 1800 and barely at 1800. Tether USD, um, you know, stable coins holding strong but Cardano down to 58 cents, XRP 39 cents, and everything is just hitting the floor. And like we say all the time, do not panic. This is an opportunity. But have you ever heard of that saying that 90% of altcoins won't survive? And you know, they, you know, the Bitcoin maxes, Bitcoin is the only thing that's sustainable. But I don't think that we're talking about the why behind that. So a lot of people, you know, we're looking at this article here. We talk about, oh, you know, most altcoins won't live and all this. It's not because that they're a scam. It's not that it's not because that, you know, they're not good projects. What happens is in markets like this, a lot of the times with the plummet in their token price, they run out of money. So <laughs> it's not that, you know, they're just going off and disappears and, you know, it was just all bad. No. Some a lot of these projects are funded, but only up to a certain point. And so when the markets pull back, they have to start selling their reserve tokens. And if you run out of that, what happens? So it's t look at it like a like a business, right? You know, you start running into your reserves. Let's say you know, uh, let's say X uh, XX token has a hundred million in reserves, right? For for you know the team. And that's in their token price. Say their token is a dollar. Their token goes down to 50 cents. That's now 50 million. And your payroll budget is now, you know, 50 million, but you were, you know, you were planning for 100 million. So a lot of times we see projects close shop, not that, not because they're bad projects, not because they're not solving an issue, you know, or, or, you know, have utility, but because they're just running out of capital. So, and you know, we're gonna see that as well. We look at this article here. When we look at a third of Americans making $250,000 or more live paycheck to paycheck, what do you think's gonna happen when you start needing reserves? People are gonna start selling their crypto as well. So, you know, I know we were talking about the altcoins, but we look at what typically happens when we look at economic turmoil, we look at, you know, uncertainty, right? People start selling not because they want to get rid of the crypto. It's because they need the cash. You need the money to pay bills. So even looking at this article here, I found um, on Bloomberg Wealth, one third of Americans making 250,000 more live paycheck to paycheck or survey uh, fines. Cash is especially tight for top earners of millennial cohort. Very few reported issues covering all their household expenses, but more than a third earning at least 250 do live paycheck to paycheck. And they kind of have this uh, chart here, um, you know, the millennial generation, 63% earning, uh, you know, which is more than half that are making 100,000 to 150 are living paycheck to paycheck. Another, another, uh, you know, when the millennials, 150 to 200,000, if you're making that more than half still, and then you go to 250, almost 50% are living paycheck to paycheck. And then it's $250,000 or more living to paycheck to paycheck. So what do you think is going to happen? We look at all this uncertainty, right? So we talked about the altcoins, what happens from a business standpoint, but from a consumer standpoint, from a, from a, a, a average person standpoint, you're making, you know, of course you're making above average income. So let's even apply this to anybody you're in crypto. And all of a sudden you're living paycheck to paycheck already you're in crypto. What's going to happen with price rising, you know, gas going through the roof and what's going to happen is you're going to sell your crypto, not because you want to sell your crypto. You're going to sell your crypto because you need to sell your crypto. And that's what we see in the markets here. And that's what I'm expecting. And that's kind of, you know, a reason why when I say, you know, Bitcoin goes to 20 K, I'm not saying it's going to 20 K because it's valued at 20 K I'm going, I'm saying 20 K, you know, because not only the technical standpoint, but also from an economic fundamental standpoint, people are going to have to sell because of the situation that's going on throughout the world from an economic standpoint. 
Um, so I saw this article and I definitely wanted to, you know, put this into perspective and tie this into crypto because it's saying here among all consumer surveys, 61.3 reported living paycheck, paycheck to paycheck in April, a 9% point increase from a year earlier, according to Lending Club. And when I see things like this, when I see the revolving debt um, increasing, uh, when I see uh, just the surveys, you know, uh, released by the Federal Reserve, uh, where they're saying overall uh, improvement in financial well-being of households since the pandemic, but everything else is saying paycheck to paycheck. They're saying that one in nine respondents of the survey wouldn't be able to cover a $400 emergency expense by any means. And that includes having a line of credit, that includes borrowing from family, and that includes selling an asset. So what do you think is gonna happen when not only crypto is dropping, but you know, and this, this impacts the market. This impacts the market. I don't care what anyone says. Yes, I, you know, I'm a trader. Yes, you know, I, I do technical analysis, but things like this do impact the market because it's real life. What do you think is going to happen if you're already living paycheck to paycheck already? And all of a sudden, you know, uh, prices go through the roof, already living paycheck to paycheck. You're going to sell your crypto. And what's going to happen when you sell your crypto? What's going to happen? Naturally, large selling pressure is going to bring the price down. So that's kind of why I'm saying Bitcoin to 20K. I'm not saying Bitcoin to 20K because I definitely think Bitcoin is a million dollar asset. I 100% believe Bitcoin is worth a million dollars. I think Bitcoin is under, I think Bitcoin is worth $250,000 right now for one coin. You know, in my head, when I see the value, when I see the, the longevity, when I see the store of value, I think one Bitcoin should be 250 right now as we speak. But it's not the case. Um, I believe that, you know, the selling pressure is going to continue and Bitcoin is going to 20,000 because of situations like that. A third of Americans alone. We're not even including other countries. So let's take a part, you know, let's look at other country stats one day and we'll take a look at that and see, okay, you know, an average of who's living paycheck to paycheck. What's going to happen when you're living paycheck to paycheck? You're going to pull from whatever you can to make ends meet. And that's going to happen with crypto. So um, I definitely don't think we're out of, out of the woods yet. I have Bitcoin going to 20K. I got Ethereum going to $800, anywhere from 800 to 1,000. Um, I have, uh, XRP. No, I have XLM going to eight cents. And I think XLM is a sleeper. I, I really do believe XLM in uh, stellar lumens is at number 26. I think stellar lumens is by far, you know, when we look at top undervalued cryptocurrencies, stellar lumens is being slept on. And we'll go into that in another video, but um, I definitely see a pullback coming and I'm looking at it as, a, as an opportunity, as many people are, as we know the big banks are, um, but seeing seeing things like this and, you know, 90% uh, of all coins won't survive um, and, you know, kind of debunking that, you know, yeah, they won't survive, but they won't survive not because of the tech. It's not not surviving because of, of, of anything other than what happens in traditional business, right? Um, most cases, there are some scams out there, you know, things to be wary of, but a lot of them, they're good projects, solid foundation, just don't have the capital. And we look at this, you know, this other article, a third of Americans making, you know, 250,000 or more uh, living paycheck to paycheck. That, along with what's going on in, you know, the, the world right now is reason to believe from a fundamental economic standpoint that we have more blood uh, and pullback that is to be seen in the near coming future. Um, hope you guys, you know, uh, you know, I know this isn't, the, you know, the sexiest topic to be talking about, but this is real. This is real. And this is, you know, this is what happens. You know, I've been there, you know, I've never been in a position where I sold my crypto, but you know, I've, you know, we've not, we haven't always been, you know, financially stable, you know, we've lost everything multiple times <laughs> before. And, uh, you know, so I definitely, you know, resonate and relate to this. Um, but at the same time, you know, when it comes to living paycheck to paycheck, at the same time, when you're looking, looking at us and we're showing you opportunities within crypto to help you move forward towards financial freedom, this pullback that's happening, that is, you know, is going to be 
you know, reactionary. It's going to be a result of, you know, price is going to be a result of what's happening right there. So that's something to take a look at and to be mindful of uh, when we look at extreme fear. The extreme fear isn't just coming from people being scared of crypto. Extreme fear is going to be from selling pressure from people forced to sell their assets away to be able to take care of their livelihood. So I hope you got some value out of the video and kind of put this into perspective when we look at the crypto markets. Like I said, not the most exciting video, but I just wanted to be extremely transparent with you guys and extremely real about the why behind, you know, uh, you know, the why all coins won't, you know, 90% of all coins won't survive, uh, which is true, but not because what most people believe, but also, you know, why I see crypto pulling back again uh, not for not forever, you know. We're gonna we're in this long term, but we are gonna see a pullback, and it's a it's a healthy pullback as well. Because anything that just shoots up straight and never pulls back really isn't a healthy market. It's a pump and dump. So, uh, hope you got some value out of the video. Keep moving forward in everything that you do, and we'll see you soon.